It's Friday, March the 6th. I'm Michelle Mackey, joined by meteorologist Nicole Karkic. Let's begin our weather story with a recap, shall we? Right. Okay, so a couple things stand out here, Michelle. We've got anything listed in orange, uh, temperatures that are above average. So Calgary, 11 degrees yesterday. We were talking about this at the briefing. Yellow knife on Thursday was minus 10, and so was Toronto. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Now, those are pretty chilly temperatures. It's also going to be chilly as we head into the east. Very chilly. And you can see the sun was rising there, Michelle, uh, rising around around this time of year, about 6.42. But this Sunday, remember everyone, we changed those clocks. We're springing yes. forward for which provinces uh, do participate in that. This morning, a little bit breezy. We've got some blowing snow, Michelle. Yeah, we do. And we could potentially see some sea effect snow along the western shores mm -hmm. just because we have that strong westerly wind and wind chills also going to be a factor. Yeah, definitely. Downright cold today as we head into the weekend a little bit warmer and into next week a lot warmer. This afternoon, Halifax feeling like minus 11, Sydney minus 11. Fredericton minus 13, so those are the numbers you are dressing for. That's right. It's definitely a good day in the east to give your car a little bit of extra time to warm up. Yes. Similar as we head into Quebec, you know, widespread, the minus mid-teens, that's what it's feeling like. Exactly. The and don't worry, this is going to change into next week, I promise. Hold, you know. Totally. Embrace the winter, get outside, and enjoy it. Here's a look at our temperatures this morning. Yes, we are stealing, still dealing with those winds, the purples, that's temperatures indicative mm -hmm. of minus 15 or below. But look at all of these blues coming into play. Exactly. Haven't seen this in a while on these mm -hmm. maps. We're showing you this because as we head into the weekend, we get a southerly push. Little system that's going to bring us a shot of snow Saturday afternoon across southern Ontario. Really isn't too much. It should happen late in the afternoon for the greater Toronto region than Ottawa and Montreal. But Michelle, look at those nice light blues, sort of the aqua color showing mm, up here. That's right. It's been a while since we've seen that. Absolutely. I'm quite happy with it. Here's what we can expect for the next seven days in Toronto. There's your snow on Saturday, but look at some of these temperatures. Getting up to plus five on Wednesday, that'll be above average. And towards the west, coming up, we'll talk more about when you're seeing rain in BC. It's Friday, March the 6th. I'm Michelle Mackey, joined by meteorologist Nicole Karkic. Are you glad it's Friday? Oh, so glad it's Friday, <laughs> heading into a nice weekend where we have the time change. So I'm going to lose an hour of sleep, yeah. but I'm okay with more sunshine. Worth it, and because it's a sign of spring Absolutely. as well, right? Okay, <laughs> Here's our what top we're headlines. On. Uh, cold today, mild tomorrow for some, pretty exciting. Windy across the country, and long range relief in store. We are saying something we haven't said in a while. That's right. Parts of the east will be above average into next week. That's right. Now here's a look at our current systems across the country. Dealing with two clippers, that's going to bring us some snow, very light through the prairies mm -hmm. as we move into the weekend, and high pressure and cold for today in the east. Oh, so frigidly cold this morning. Uh, we've got Toronto sitting at minus 15, but feels like minus 22. Ottawa, you feel like minus 25, and it doesn't get much warmer into the afternoon. Yeah, that's right, but it could have been worse. Widespread customers with power outages throughout mm -hmm. the GTA. That's right. I was one of those people. Mm -hmm. uh, extreme cold Cold warnings vary over towards Peterborough, feeling close to minus 30 this morning, so you're just in that criteria. And there is some snow coming this weekend. It will bring some warmer air with the warm front, yes. some southwest winds, but by uh, Saturday morning it'll be in the north, swinging down to the south by the late afternoon hours towards Toronto. And then Ottawa, Montreal, you will see it by Saturday evening. Yeah, now you know what? It could be worse. I would choose snow and warmer weathers over minus 50 to minus 55 yeah. wind chills any day, Nicole. Exactly. So we callow it on inlet included in the extreme cold warning. Uh, Iqaluit right now feels like minus 48, so not minus 50 yet, but close enough, Michelle. Yeah, exactly. Really doesn't take long for friend, uh, skin to freeze when we're outside in those right. temperatures. Also dealing with pretty chilly wind chills this morning through eastern Canada, mm -hmm. generally into the minus 20s. That's your feels like temperature. Yeah, Montreal will see some sunshine. Sunshine as well for the east. It's not a bad day if you like the sun. And That's then right. for Saturday, Michelle, we do have uh, the snow moving through southern Ontario, mm -hmm. uh, some sea effect for western Newfoundland and Halifax. Churro could see some flurries tomorrow afternoon. Happy Friday. We'll take a look at your weekend forecast. Our developing stories are cold today, mild tomorrow, windy across the country, and long-range relief. Yes, we have a lot to talk about. Absolutely. Let's begin, Nicole, looking at our current systems across the country. These two clippers, that's going to spark up some snow, not only through the prairies, mm -hmm. but into Ontario as we move into the weekend. Exactly, and we're seeing some freezing rain in and around uh, areas yeah. near Edmonton at this point where there are some freezing rain warnings that could spread into Saskatchewan. Yeah. 
Yeah, now we are dealing with cold temperatures as we move into southern Ontario. Those wind chills, they are quite strong. Yes. And outside bearing those cold temperatures is Rachel Schutzen in Toronto. Now, Rachel, you've got a pretty exciting morning planned. Yeah, Getting excited. excited about plus five, plus six. <laughs> it's going to feel, I mean, we're going to be peeling off layers. I, can't, I know. I can't wait to not wear my parka. Me too. It's going to yes. feel downright balmy. Just get a pea coat on, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but before we get there, of course, we are still dealing with that extreme cold wind. Yeah, so this morning, Barry towards Peterborough, feeling closer to the minus 30s this morning. Uh, still cold in southern Ontario, but you're just not in the warning criteria. Uh, Saturday, a, a system comes through, so this will bring in some warmer air along a warm front. We've got mm -hmm. some southwest winds but a bit of snow in the north for Saturday morning swings down to cottage country by the afternoon and then Toronto over towards Kingston we'll see it later in the day but a general two to five Michelle it's it's not a exactly terrible it's not terrible driving yeah through the GTA does get a little bit slow yes. but nothing extensive now as we move further to the north the big story we have an extreme cold warning in place mm -hmm. for wind chills coming Minus 50 to minus 55. Yeah, that's right. So Callowitans included, Pond Inlet as well. That will ease into the afternoon hours. And for the east, we've got high pressure in place, so that's always nice and sunny, mm -hmm. but it means that that cloud cover can't keep the heat inside the atmosphere. So Montreal, you're feeling like minus 25. Halifax, minus 23 this morning. Yes. Now, hmm. now Nicole, we're not going to see significant snowfall. Blowing snow is going to be the issue yeah. as we move into the day. That's right, Michelle. We do have wind sustained at about 20 to 40 kilometers an hour across Newfoundland. So blowing snow, yes, an issue. No wind warnings, however, mm -hmm. no snowfall warnings at this point. And on Saturday, you will see a little bit of uh, snow around Halifax and Churro, just a light dusting. That's right. All right. Well, happy Friday, Canada. Michelle Mackey, joined by meteorologist Nicole Karkic. Both of us, very glad it's Friday. <laughs> very glad it's Friday. And a lot of you are probably glad it's the weekend as well. We do have the daylight savings times coming mm -hmm. for you on, sa on Sunday night. Uh, Sunday... Saturday night That's into right. Sunday it's morning <laughs> and uh, just remember to spring those clocks forward. Today it's cold but mild tomorrow for some, windy across the country and we have some long range relief. Yeah and you know what spring is on the way March 20th I'm ready for it. Here's a look at our current systems across the country. We are watching this clipper system it's bringing some rain now into south uh, southern Saskatchewan mm -hmm. that should ease by late morning though. Mm -hmm, exactly. Well, uh, picked up 15 centimeters yeah. of snow. Uh, New York City had lots of cancellations yesterday out of LaGuardia Airport. A jet completely slid off of the mm -hmm. uh, uh, runway. So a lot going on. That system is cleared out and left behind. We still have some cold air today, Michelle, in the east, but a sign of some warmer air coming in with mm -hmm. these light blues and even some oranges reaching close to southwestern Ontario. That's right. That jet stream becoming more zonal as we move into the weekend, but unfortunately still dealing with those frigid temperatures to the north. An extreme cold warning is in place for a Callowit Pond Inlet with wind chills expected through the morning between minus 50 and minus 55. Exactly. And some extreme cold warnings in Ontario. Uh, the criteria a little bit different. We've mm -hmm. got it feeling closer to the minus 30s this morning. Barrie as well as Peterborough is included in that. But Michelle, some good news on the horizon. If you're sick of winter, it looks like things are warming up even, dare we say, above average Tuesday and Wednesday for the yeah. daytime high. I'm looking forward to this. This is near bathing suit weather, weather for me after our Exactly. You know those people who always wear the shorts yes. too early will be out there wearing shorts somewhere in Ontario. Totally. It's going to happen. But of course, still dealing with those wind chills through northern Ontario into the minus 20 range this morning. Mm -hmm. And similar as we head through uh, parts of Manitoba. But look at these mild conditions yeah. further west. Not too bad even in Saskatchewan for today and another calm day on tap for the lower mainland. Oh, and those structures put to the test this winter. <laughs> Nicole and Michelle with you. We've got some good top stories to talk about. Cold today, but mild tomorrow, windy across the country, and some long-range relief, finally. Yeah, that's right. But you know what? What a great thing to do on the weekend. Well, that's right, but we do hear some strong winds in that video. Mm -hmm. You are going to still see some strong winds today across Newfoundland. Uh, those winds sustained at about 20 to 40 kilometers an hour. So some blowing snow, uh, not out of the question, but there's no warnings at this point. It's just a, a caution for you out there. But some problems here, Michelle. We've got some freezing yeah. rain warnings just popped up in Saskatoon within the last hour uh, around Sask uh, Saskatoon as well, still in place for uh, White Court, Leduc as well. That's right. And speaking of warnings, we're still under that extreme cold warning for areas in southern Ontario, Barrie, east towards P. 
Peterborough with wind chill values approaching the minus 30s for the morning. Exactly. And even colder as we go yeah. north towards uh, Iqaluit and Pond Inlet, uh, feeling closer to the minus 50s. But at last check, Iqaluit was about minus 48 with the wind chill. So not quite 50, but close enough. This afternoon, it is cold in the east, but so much sunshine for yeah. you. A sunny day in Montreal, a sunny day over towards Halifax. But uh, with that high pressure in place, we don't have the clouds, which can help right. contain a bit of heat out exactly. there. Exactly. And that's exactly what we're seeing through southern Ontario, most of Ontario for uh, for that matter. This afternoon, temperatures, they are going to be the core temperatures in the minus single digits. But keep in mind, we do have breezy conditions coming from the southwest. Yeah. That <laughs> and the cold temperatures. And she said, I can do this. It's been mild. So as we look to this morning, still mild again out west. Lethbridge is at four degrees and Anachibed and Saskatchewan a bit colder in Manitoba. Coming up more on your national stories.